Hi. Well, we got us a milk jug full of water here, and we've got a 375 Holland and Holland that we're going to use on it, and we'll see how big of a splash it makes. Now here we got the Ruger number one single shot rifle. It's a tropical model, chambering 375 Holland and Holland. Got a two power Pentax scope on it. Now here's the round. Winchester 375 Holland and Holland silver tip, 300 grain bullet. I'll get this camera put on a tripod and get this thing loaded up and we'll give it a try. Okay, we'll get this thing loaded up and we'll give this a try. That did it. There's the empty case. Of course, these were a falling block rifle. Very much like the old Winchester uh, 1885s. You can see here enough of the jug survived to uh, show the entry wound. And of course, the entire back of it was the exit. <laughs> well, it did a real number on that milk jug full of water. This Ruger number one uh, tropical is a very nice rifle. It's got a little two power Pentax scope on it. A uh, gun that recoils like this needs, uh, if you're going to put a scope on it, it needs a, a pretty good scope to hold a zero because it does have a lot of recoil. And the ammunition that I was using was some old uh, Winchester factory ammo that I've had around here for ages. I'm not sure Winchester even loads the 375 Holland and Holland anymore. But anyway, uh, I believe it was supposed to have been about 2,550 feet per second with a 300 grain uh, bullet. So that would probably work out to be, if it's not 4,300 uh, foot-pounds of muzzle energy, it's getting pretty close. But anyway, I want to do an end-of-video shout-out. And this one's for P226Nut. And I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video. Get a little free time? Go check it out. Thanks for watching.